Redmi One S, which was launched back in May 2014, is considered as one of the most successful devices of Xiaomi. Its high-end specs at a very low price is the main attraction of 2014. But after two years, when every device is getting Android Marshmallow update, Redmi One S is still running KitKat. But thanks to the open-source ROM developers who develop custom ROMs for our devices. So in this video, I am going to show you the top three custom ROMs based on Android Marshmallow for Redmi One S, which I personally tested. This is Samir from Extreme Droid, and let's get started. At number three, we have AICP ROM. Which stands for Android Ice Cold Project. Previously, this ROM was based on AOKP until Lollipop, but now it is based on Cyanogen Mod. The UI is clean and simple, just like the new Cyanogen Mod 13. But rather than that, the main feature of this ROM is that it have lots of customization option, which makes it different from any other ROM. Let's have a look over some customization of the ROM. Just go to setting and click on AICP extras. Then in the option section, you can see that there are lots of option present like display and animation, status bar, notification panel, and more. You can change individual aspects of your device. My personal favorite is time contextual header. Through which you can change the header image of the notification panel, and in my opinion. It really looks cool. The other thing which I like is the multi-shot option, which really sounds awkward. But who cares about the name? By using this option, you can do lots of multitasking, as multi-window option is not present in this ROM. You can also enable circle bar, which will create a circular drawer through which you can easily swipe between the apps. It also have pie control and gestures control. Talking about the bugs, one major bug which I encountered is that sometimes the tiles in the notification panel automatically get disappeared. Network coverage is also quite weak, but this is an official build, so I think this will be fixed soon. At number two, we have unofficial Cyanogen mod. Which was released back in November 2015. I really love this ROM because it is almost 98% stable. I did not find any bug, and it is working perfectly fine, just like an official build. The main reason why I put this ROM at number two is only because it is an unofficial build, and it lacks Marshmallow feature. Also, you will not get future updates. It is using the Google stock camera, which is little bit outdated. But now Cyanogen Mod is offering Cyanogen Mod camera, which was only present in Cyanogen OS. Coming to its sound quality, which is very nice, music app is also working fine, not bad for an unofficial build. So my final word for this ROM is that it is really good and stable. Everything is working and no bugs found yet. So I think you should give it a try. Finally, at number one, we have Mocky ROM, which is a China-based open-source ROM developer. It is also based on the source of Cyanogen Mod. This is the best official ROM available for Redmi One S. I am testing this since two weeks. It is buttery smooth and fast. You will hardly encounter any lag while switching between the apps. Talking about its performance, it has the best camera performance among the previous mentioned ROMs. It has Cyanogen camera, which has lots of option with a very nice interface. Indoor as well as outdoor performance is awesome. Talking about its feature. You can enable multi-window option, and it has inbuilt root access. Dose mode is working, so you don't have to worry about the battery performance. Sound quality is also impressive. 
So my final verdict to this ROM is that if you want stock marshmallow experience, then you must try this one. So guys, that's all for today. If you like this video, please let me know that in the comment section. And if you want to know how to install these three ROMs, just click the above link. I will see you in my next video and please don't forget to click the subscribe button for future updates.